This show is part of the Drowning Man Podcast Network. Visit drowningmanpodcasts.com. Off the Dice is a time to tabletop production, building community through the language of gaming. Welcome to Off the Dice, where we ask hard pressing questions to gamers. We do ask questions, that's for sure. Well, it's time to get to know our next victim, uh, well, guest. So pull up a chair and, and let's, let's talk, talk off, off the dice. dice. Welcome to our episode of Off the Dice. We do have a special guest that we've missed a lot and a lot, just in our lot. lives. Oh, uh, I've missed you guys too. <laughs> yes. Um, before we get started into the actual grit of it, hit us up with who you are. Uh, my name is Jeff. Please don't Ooh. make the horrible, horrible joke. Everyone makes the Channing Tatum joke. I'm not, I don't even know. What oh, you don't know it? No. Okay. I'm going to shield you from that. That's fine. It, it's a dumb joke about the name Jeff. Okay. But um, <laughs> no, my name is Jeff Royvis. Uh, I was on uh, New Trippers for a while, and then I had to drop out because of personal stuff. But yeah, I just, I'm a big nerd. I like games. <laughs> There's a, a little birdie told me, no, I decided there might be a reunion of new trippers coming. I'd be down for that. <clears throat> There's a few reasons behind that. Uh, All right. And, well, the books finally came in that I paid for <gasps> two years ago. That's so exciting. That's a whole yeah, that's, another that's podcast. So, <laughs> yes. So I got Sweet. really excited about that. So, um, to get to know you, this is where we start. Though. Oh, no. <laughs> we play a Here little game okay. on Off the Dice, Okay. The rules are decently simple. You answer some questions. Sure. And I can do that. That's about it. Is there a prize if I answer them all? Uh, uh, you, you just... You win. You, you, you might. <laughs> I win. You the win. The prize is you victory. Win. You win. The prize is victory. Okay. You just flat out win. <laughs> cool. So. Character creation. First we do is character creation. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I'm really good at that. So. Ask my four D&D characters. <laughs> we base it on three <laughs> attributes. Okay. So the first question is, on a scale of 1 to 20, what would you put your attribute for charisma and why? Ooh. Um, that's a hard one. I don't think about how charismatic I am. I would probably, I would probably put it at like a 12. My husband would probably put it at like a 16 because I'm really non-confrontational. So I'm really good at getting other people to agree with me without causing a fight. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Though. That's it, pretty good. That's it, talent. It's not always super honest. But yeah, no, I, I'm I'm the avoid conflict at all costs guy. So <laughs> who needs conflict? Right. <laughs> I think we're all. I think as as a general, we're all a little bit more charismatic than we think we are. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Except for the people who like think they're hot stuff. Oh, and, yeah. like super hot. Yeah. No, then then yeah. they kind of just break the scale right. and they're like they reset at zero. Right. <laughs> they just they flip the dial. You're yeah. like, nope. I like you're it. back to zero. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're sitting at... Um, let's average that at like 14, because I say 12, someone else... 14 probably, because you know. of of popular opinion. <laughs> sure. Popular opinion, 14. So. All right. Yep. I like it. <laughs> Go ahead, Roger. How would you rate your brain? Same scale, 1 to 20? 1 to 20. Um, yeah, zero's not on it. Yeah, sorry. So that's, <laughs> that's fair. I mean, that is the go-to <laughs> for me. No, um... I don't know again i don't want to just be like well it's obviously it's funny um <laughs> you, bro- that one. <laughs> you, you rolled the scale <laughs> um i think i'm probably at like a 16 17 um You're brainy. i'm brainy i think a lot and i think a lot about thinking That's i was a- like i was that kid in high school who couldn't ever tell you what my favorite class was because i like english because it breaks all of the rules of like everything whereas i like math because it's neat and ordered and structured but i like history because so much cool <laughs> shit's happened uh it's just i don't have a favorite class because i like learning yeah you're like, I, I don't know i don't know how you and i ever get along <laughs> i fucking hated school oh. oh no i hated school okay i was real <laughs> Maybe mad it was at the it. social part of school i just hated it that's fair but the learning part, if, if you taught me something new, I'm cool. Sure. Well, it's, I always argued that I like English the most because in math, you're proving that something is, is true. In science, you're figuring out that something is true. In history, the thing has already happened. But in English, if you argue it correctly, two plus two can equal whatever the fuck you want. Hey, <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. pretty cool. I like that. Thanks. Very smart. 
that that, that finally brain. English brain. makes sense to yeah. me. Yeah, you, have you just have to argue your point. Correctly. There's been a breakthrough in English. Oh my God, a whole You're realm welcome. is up. I might actually read a book. <laughs> yes, thanks to you. I read one solid book. No, it's probably not. Uh, so, on a scale of one to twenty, we're still building your character. Sure. Decently charismatic, uh-huh. quite brainy. Uh-huh. Scale of one to twenty, dexterity. Two. Well, if you'd asked me this a decade ago, like 17, because I was a dancer, uh, asking me now, <laughs> I'm probably down to like a 10. <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm not well-rounded fast. Well-rounded number. <laughs> I'm balanced. See, it's, but it's like, like, it's a middle I'm not man. speedy. <laughs> you can <laughs> like, walk up, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not on your Like, knuckles. I'm that guy that I don't run for anything, so if you see me running, you should start to. Like, because like, something's coming. Something. <laughs> You're like, wait, oh shit. We're talking yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. We're talking like mantra. Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. There's something yeah, like really... there's yeah. There's like a zombie <laughs> or a Republican behind me. Like... <laughs> well, they might be both. That might be the same thing. I don't want to say it. I mean, <laughs> right? Wasn't it, uh, who who's, who sings the zombie song? Cranberry. No, not that. One. One? Um, one? So that's the only zombie song I know. I know. No, the um, kid, um, Glover. Don Glover? Yeah. He's he sings a zombie, zombie song. Which song? I okay, I we'll have to edit that. Okay, yeah, he does have it. Um, it is a zombie song. Okay. And it's, to me, it reminds me of just what you... Sure. Okay. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> and this, and knowing in, his work, that makes sense. At least yeah, in yeah, 2018, a Republican a zombie. Yes. Right? Yeah. I mean, gotcha. we can't say throughout history... But in 2018, uh, yeah. I would say so. Sure. Um, yeah. So we, we may be off the air before we're on the air. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> so now that we've, we've built your character, let's play the game. Okay. All right. Level one. <laughs> level one. You are a level one character. Yes. And as your level one character, we have to take the answers that you give us as is. Basic level one question. No I like it. I like okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> question one. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, say no judgment until you hear my answer. Judgment. Hold on. I have a I have a pen. It's like wait. We'll we'll judge away. <laughs> uh, salsa, chopped or blended? Chopped. Quick to answer. All right. Yeah. Oh, we'll do two at a time. I'll do the second yeah, one no, also, and good. then you can do the next two. Um, often or often? Often. Really? Yeah. I'd have yep. to say you're wrong, but yeah, I have I to accept also, your answer. Yeah, I, I mean, you guys said face value. I have to accept, I have to accept uh, yeah, it. Fair. And I was told no judgment. Yes. I have so. to accept. Uh, well, she lied. <laughs> I mean, fair. we I are should, allowed to lie. I should yeah, not be surprised. Like, hey. <laughs> we, I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. Olives. Black or green? No, neither. <laughs> I like that. No. Oh, God. No. I hate olives so olives, much. No. All of them are just terrible. All olives. of them? Yeah. <laughs> I heard it as soon as I said it. <laughs> But no, I did say it. So oh, God, I hate olives. They're so gross. <laughs> I do like it as a name, the like olive? as a name for a girl. Like that's cute. Like like Ollie, all all of that kind of stuff. Or just olive. olive. Like even <laughs> just olive. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> but I just no, went as, as a food, no, not into it. Not a no, food. nope. It's, like, a it's, name, not a it's a name, not a food. Yes. All right. Okay. That'd be our new hashtag. Hashtag. It's a name, not it's a, a food. Name, not a food. <laughs> it's a name, not a food. Uh, would you rather be tickled or startled? <laughs> Oh, can I say Gross. no again? Um, I guess startled, because I'm real ticklish, oh. and like I I swing wildly. <laughs> I've, I I've to. hurt people. <laughs> so for the, I never for had the this safety discussion. of others. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say startled. Like I don't like being startled, but it's much better than being. But tickled. it's much better than being yes. tickled. I feel like if I'm startled, I can defend myself. Yes. Sure. If I feel I'm like tickled, I need to defend myself from being tickled. But once you're just being tickled. Sweet. Like that's fair. I can't react. Right, you just flail around. <laughs> right, <laughs> you, like, you suddenly come like an octopus. You hit something. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. The first. The, yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. So this will make it real quick. Star Wars or Star Trek? Wars. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, and the next one would be PC, Mac, or Chrome. I guess PC. I don't have a real preference though. I never really Whatever liked Macs works. because I played video games. And up until recently, that was a huge deterrent to Mac. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, I don't really care. As long as it works. I have different uses for all three. That's fair. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, 
they're all running really good this at different on a things. PC. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm, I have to record this on a PC. Sure, the podcast oh, and broadcast. You know, yeah, on a Mac, I was like, I know it's going to last forever, so I can throw it in my right in my backpack, and I know it's good. Chrome yeah. is like, I got nine nine bucks and need a computer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's. <laughs> but I have the Pixel phone, and that's technically Chrome. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. It's Google. They do nice. their shit right. Yeah, they really do. I have to say. So there you go. if if the Chrome was a little bit higher, like quality wise, I would probably go with them. Yeah, but then but it they just be nine nine exactly. That's, and that's the thing I mean, is that right now they're the affordable one. Yeah, <laughs> like, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't need to be anything more. They are. The they found their their niche their and they're niche sticking is to it. I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, I have also had that niche yeah. in my life. <laughs> we've I think we've all attended college. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready. Circle or square? Circle. All right. Yeah. That's an interesting one. See, if, if <laughs> I don't you think thought, I've ever been asked that. See, but you had to think about that, right? All right. Yeah. Uh, now, would you like paper or plastic, sir? Paper. Paper. Nice. Paper. Uh-huh. Paper. Solid huh. paper. I don't have a solid reason for that. I just like saving the environment. That's probably why. I like actually, it. I heard somewhere years ago that it's actually better for the environment to go plastic. <laughs> what? Uh, because the way that they make it is less harmful than the way that they make paper bags. That would so make it's sense. overall plastic is better for the environment. That would make sense. They're both from what crappy. I've heard years There's ago a, on yeah. the internet. Like who knows if that's accurate? <laughs> that's <laughs> it's probably just some guy be like, I was going to believe this. It, it might have been. I think it was the like title to an article, so it's like I feel like I read the article. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they drew me in with a duck wrapped in plastic. Oh, damn. <clears throat> okay, so last question of level one. Sure. Take a shot or shotgun? Take a shot. All right. What do we got for a shot? Uh, it is. Oh, that actually, was like an option. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. So we are pulling Wait, out. What would it be if I said shotgun? Mm. Oh, we weren't. Oh, were you supposed that, to reveal okay. that it was a beer? Got it. That makes um, more sense. I, it would still be a shot, right. though. Uh, it's phrased to y'all, where you don't know. Y'all know how I feel about beer. <laughs> <laughs> beer and I are not friends. So, um, I know you can't, well, the people who get to see the bonus footage, um, <laughs> we'll see what we're doing. It's, this looks shady. she's pouring, well, it does. but it's cold. I've stuck it in the freezer. That's a cool pop. So you finished level one. I did. Bottoms up, bottoms up. <laughs> level two. Dun, dun, level dun, 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 dun. two dun, 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 dun. is underway. Dun, dun, dun. This these questions are mm, a little bit longer, okay. and you have to convince at least one of us okay. that you've answered the question. Okay, I will do my best. Now, it could be a lie, it could be a made-up bunch of crap, but at least we have to semi-believe you. Sure. And with a charisma score of 14 to 16, <laughs> you should be able to do that. I like that. how it's 14 to 16. It's not solid <laughs> No, it's like... Well, I was it's averaging 14 because I said 12, but... Realistically, it's probably closer so, to 16. So really, it's 12 to 16. Well, it's well now they have the shot. He, got a, he has a plus two because of the shot. <laughs> do I? <laughs> That's like, <laughs> yeah. Do I? Yeah. You have to convince one of us, at least one of us. Sure. So go ahead and start off, Reza. All right. What is the worst video game? Just ever? Ooh. That's a tough one. All right. Have I played any really bad games? Ooh, Enchanted Arms. I don't even know oh what God, it, I don't so know that bad. one. Um, I'm actually taking notes. So you it's one of those games play. that like it's so bad that it's still fun to play. Oh yes. Um, it, it leans really heavily into the elemental affinity system. So water and fire are opposites, so they deal extra damage to each other. So when an enemy who is on fire is present, you just know to hit it with water. So. And then earth and air are opposites. And like that's the game. Oh <laughs> it's it's a pretty standard uh, RPG. Um, but it's it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. Um, it has some like problematic characters. Uh, there's a character who, if they did it right, could be a really good portrayal of like a gender queer guy. But they didn't, <laughs> and it just seems to come off as laughs. Like it comes off as a joke character, um, which I don't know that that sits weird with me. Um, it's also like the story's not super deep. It's pretty much just. <laughs> This is your party now. Go kill things. Hi, like, um, fire stuff! Yay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you, and you hope you hope that the intentions of the game were good. Yes, I think they were. 
And I know that the, that character specifically was voiced by one of my favorite voice actors who's like super proponent for queer rights. Okay, so, so at least yeah. he was yeah. like, we gave it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't come well, off it's also the way like, we It wanted. just falls into so many tropes of like, your main character is the fire affinity one who uses a sword. The, his love interest is the water one. Although her weapon was weird. She kickboxes. What the fuck yeah. is that? <laughs> That's like the most interesting part of the water game. Water kickboxing, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, water polo would make um, no sense. <laughs> she's so, or like, yeah, I'm like, she's really good at treading water. Yes. She's like really good. That's why she kickboxes. She's, oh, she's got those thighs. There it is. Thighs for days. Thighs. There you go. Thigh days. Yeah. It's, they also they have the system that I've seen in other games where you can like, in some games it's your taming monsters in some games it's your like building robots and stuff but they can replace your party members they have that system too but it's like interesting it's i don't know i'm not explaining it well but there's your battlefield is like a grid and each character takes up one spot on the grid but the monsters you create can take up up to the entire grid Ooh. so you have to swap out your entire party for one monster oh it's kind of like in uh resident evil with your weapons and stuff kind of kind of like, like that, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but for your battlefield. That's interesting. It's weird. Yeah. And like none of the, the, they're these weird like robot doll things. None of them are as good as your party members. So there's no point to ever doing it. <laughs> I completely ignored that entire aspect of the game and was fine. It's like, yep, don't need that. Yeah. Right. Maybe it was just an idea. Maybe it is an executive said, yeah. we need monsters. One guy yeah. was super like, man, we have to have this. And the other guy was right. like, no. Well, and <laughs> almost every game that I've seen it in, you can just ignore it. And like that, that feature doesn't matter <laughs> oh my god well that i enchanted uh, arms i have that in my arms. notes i might i might end up coming back to that because i feel like there are some pretty bad games out but there. i will i will there actually are. i'm going to look that one up all right question two yeah in level two uh-huh. since you chose star wars okay what character do you mostly identify with Ooh, that's an interesting one um probably qui-gon the little bit that I know about Star Wars is Star Wars' uh, extended universe mythology and whatnot. Um, if I had to pick a side of the Force, I would actually go Grey Knight, which is the weird middle ground. And um, Qui-Gon's a confirmed Grey Knight because he is a Jedi but doesn't always follow the Council and basically leaves it up to everyone's morality as their own. And that's a big thing for me is like there's not just evil and just good. That's... In one moment, I'm making the decision for evil, but in the next, I'm making the decision for good. And that really resonated with me. So I'd probably say Qui-Gon Jinn. So you're saying it represents the human race yes. very well. Yes, very <laughs> exactly. Where there is, well, and it's, yeah. it's so interesting. I haven't seen the most recent Star Wars movie, but I was really, really hoping that they would lean into the Grey Knight thing with Rey because that seems to be her thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But from what I hear, they have not acknowledged the Grey Knights officially, hmm. which is... Sad. Must be a Disney thing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> They're all about their black and white. Yeah, like, <laughs> back in the day, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, I always, yeah. I've always spoken that. I was like, we we make black and white decisions, mm-hmm. but we all live somewhere in the middle of right. that. Right. I mean, sometimes you have to make that right hard yes or no. Exactly. But that could change as you get older. Yep. As you well, read a book. No as one you... <laughs> follows the same morality their entire life. No. I don't think a single human has ever done that. <laughs> Who could? Right. I mean, you. hopefully you People learn. People claim to. Yeah. Hopefully you like, learn as you yeah. grow. Yeah. <laughs> it still changes. It could get worse. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's I've always downhill from here. <laughs> and I feel like if you stay the same, you're getting worse. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. What's your favorite toe? Who came up with these questions? We did. Answer the questions. There's, there's a few of us that did. So My yeah. favorite toe? Your favorite yep. toe, yeah. Uh, I don't know the names of like the... Just, hey. It's, just, nah, I it's don't the either. same as what would be the ring finger, I guess. Hey. So like right next to the pinky? Yeah, see? Yeah. That's my favorite toe for some reason. I guess. It's weird, right? We, we it is. Well, There's a consensus about this. It's, it's your most supportive toe. It is. Your pinky's not doing jack. Yeah. Although right? your pinky is actually super important. <laughs> If you lose your big toe or your pinky, you can't walk. Well, you can't balance efficiently. But the support system, that pinky yeah. just starts doing weird things as you well, get older. Well, but that's how it, it like subconsciously balances you. But the other one's like I patting it on the back the whole time. That. True. That's fair. Like, good job, okay. pinky. I guess that's it. 
I guess that's my favorite. Who asked? I no, feel like, like this was we, a question we for have, you. We agree with this because that was, was like, yeah. that was our favorite too. Okay. It was like, yeah, it's a great toe. toe. It's just I'm now like, really aware of my toes. Yeah, no, you're like, like moving, moving your toes them a lot. Like, Which one's so good? What the fuck? But no, and it, it's not. Good. You stubbed your big one a lot. Yeah, a lot. And your pinky. But also, like that means that they're taking the brunt for the rest. It's like true. they're they're falling on that grenade. It's true. Oh, I, they are those well, guys. Yeah, clumsiest or more aggressive. I mean. They're clumsy, just the paladin. Clumsy and <laughs> like, aggressive. Cut things, attack. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't need to think. He just so charges like, in. Why are you attacking a bed? <laughs> right. <laughs> or the don't, door. It's wrong don't to me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, your pet peeve word. Ooh. This is going to take some thinking because not a lot of words bother me. Mm. Mm. I have a favorite word. Can I give you that instead? Mm. See, um, no, I just, I pet just asked him his favorite like just a word, word man. that bothers me. Yeah, yeah, pet peeve. When it's like, mm. <laughs> and it's just like that, you go, mm. <laughs> and it, we don't want to go into any isms or anything like that. Sure. But it's just like th- that word. You're just like, eh, I'd rather you not say that word. And it's not offensive. It's just like it's just annoying. Really. Well, no, I know I could probably tell you the word that spawned this discussion, but that word doesn't bother me. Is it moist? It's moist. The reason this question <laughs> see, exists. See, yeah. it, moist doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Moist either, doesn't bother me. But it bothers a lot of at people. At all. And I don't understand why. Um, I don't understand why. I work it with cake. People. I'm like, this is moist cake. Right. And people I've always are like, seen. Eww. I mean, Crocker always said moist. <laughs> right. yeah. I was like, what? I guess maybe the word millennial. That is no, a weird word. Not even because of like the way it sounds, just because of the context with which it is always used is just. It was darn millennial. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like. Most of us are in our late twenties now. Yeah, Maybe stop acting women. like we're teenagers. Yeah. Like we're actually we're trying Maybe. to pay our bills. Right, now. right. We're <laughs> trying. Pa- we're part of the society yeah. now. It's like ah oh, crap. Yeah, but yeah. So okay. I guess I guess millennial. My millennial. pet peeve word. Okay. Yeah, That's some a- of mine are not even real words like axe. Axe. I'm axe well, okay, something. but that's like a mispronunciation. Like, still wants me. To, I want that's to fair. stab things. When that's I hear something said, I was like, um, why? Stabby, stabby. I heard one of my friends so I don't know how well you guys know Batman um, but he has this enemy called Ra's al Ghul mm-hmm. yeah apparently it's a more common pronunciation than I gave it credit for but one of my friends the other day said Raish al Ghul and it like threw me I had no idea how to respond to him <laughs> triggered <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like I was like I know what you're talking about but I've never heard it pronounced this way but Did apparently it? given his like origin and the language it might have come from, that's actually a really common pronunciation for him oh. now. Hmm. So yeah, racial ghoul. I don't I'm not Mispronunciations, I guess that, maybe we should get that into a different question. Sure. But yeah, because I've also been trying to be more relaxed about mispronunciations because I've realized there's words that I mispronounce because I read them a lot, but I've never heard them. Right. Mm. And that so I'm sense. trying to not jump down people's throats for that anymore. <laughs> but it is a struggle. But it's, it's kind of that that almond commercial, the almonds. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. My, my wife actually had some issues um, working with that pronounced it like that. I think and, my stepdad does. And actually works. They they work for Diamond. And they call them almonds. That's amazing. Yeah. And she's like, I can't do Well, you know the anymore. old joke, right? About how you har- harvest almonds? It's a big machine that shakes the tree and you shake the L out of them. Yeah, I will. You're welcome for that. Thank you. So next on dad jokes. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were talking about that. I love dad jokes because you know uh, there's a board game coming out Is about dad jokes. Oh, yeah, it's no. it's uh, two teams and each round one person from each team goes up and it's you have to go as long as you can and the first person to laugh their team loses that round. <sighs> And it looks so fun. Well, because the videos are viral, mm-hmm. right, for that. Yeah. So yeah. why wouldn't... I mean... Exactly. That's I'm, beautiful. I'm stoked. And there's like, I think there's like categories and rules and stuff, but it's freaking it beautiful. looks so fun. Ten out of ten. All right. Would play. Yeah. Well, a couple more questions from me. Yeah. What would you like your hometown to be? Ooh. That's tough. Mm-hmm. Um, are you wow. talking like where I grew up or where I was born? Yeah. Technically, hometown. those are different things for it's me. What you feel your hometown is. Um, we ask the hard pressing you questions do. here. You do. Yeah. These that are means. like surprisingly deep, other yeah. than maybe the toe. Hey, the toe was hey, deep. The toe man. was deep to me. Because you like, never thought about it till now. It's I'm like just, the circle in the I'm square. I'm just picturing the two of you sitting here thinking of like, what can we possibly ask? And just 
toes, obviously. Oh well, yeah. Okay, and yeah. I, who who came up with that question? Uh, oh, what's her name? I'm uh, willing Valerie. to put my Valerie. Oh, okay. Valerie. The it editor. Me. I mean, no. thank you, Valerie. She's the Valerie, one that edits these thank podcasts. You. You Thanks, Valerie. For that. This one. That question I has been a, a hit. I was a circular really square has. person. Okay? Sure. I was that person. <laughs> that stumped him, too. <laughs> it did. It was just so unexpected. Yeah, all, right, all right. Um, so I'd, I'd probably say my hometown is... It's somewhere in Washington. I can tell you that. Ooh, nice. Um, mostly because I was built for that weather. Yep. <laughs> uh, I was, too. Can't agree. Uh, like, I don't know that I'd say Seattle necessarily, but maybe like Tacoma. Like just outside Seattle. Tacoma is pretty good. Yeah, oh, that's also where my sister was from. Oh. Um, I, I live like there. Tacoma, since... Renton, Redmond, anywhere in there, anywhere up there. You're after my heart. You, <laughs> you've just come back from the whole olives thing, yeah. and some of these other things. That, like, that often you, thing. The often thing. I was I had some okay, questions. Okay, but you both just said often. Yeah. Cause well, because we you said trying, often. Yeah, you thing. said often. If we so said the, the often, often thing, we it's kind of like the almond mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. It would be almond. I don't thing. know. Like if we said almond, <laughs> would you be like, what the fuck are <laughs> we you do, talking about? We just got. Counter well, judge. I'm saying because yeah. you're, you're referencing the question, and if you guys were talking about your perspective, you would have just said often. Yeah, we we fucked up. We yeah. really did. We that's, we ate that one. We can eat that okay. one. We that's ate fine. the almond. And okay. now <laughs> I own this podcast. <laughs> it's like, welcome I, to I'm my the host. <laughs> I'm the host. You are my that's guest. That's how this works, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, we just trade it off. It just happened. So yeah, no, it really did. Because my hometown, um, I really considered Tacoma almost my hometown mm-hmm. because I moved there in the early mid 90s mm-hmm. and didn't leave there till what five years ago oh yeah when i moved here yeah five six years ago and just it has its issues oh sure but everywhere it is the right. beauty of it just right the cultures that are shoved together mm-hmm. in that tacoma mm-hmm. area is uncanny yeah well so my sister was born in tacoma and my parents moved down here i don't know how old they were my how old my sister was at that time but I feel like my parents, like, this is going to get gross, but, like, it feels like my brother and I were also born there, even though we were born in, like, L.A. <laughs> but, like, we're all built for the Pacific Northwest. We all love the Pacific Northwest. I'm trying to convince my husband to move up there, but we can't afford it anyway. How can you afford it here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's about a, that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk we about can, that. Yeah. Barely afford it no, here. Now yeah. financial segment. It's, no. We could afford to live there. <laughs> we can't afford to get there. Yeah, True that. that's the that's part that we're at. True that. But yeah, well, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, mm-hmm. Favorite children's animated film. Ooh, I feel like I say ooh a lot with you guys. Ooh, ooh. we're fancy. You turn that into a sound effect. Ooh. Lately, it's been Sing. I'll just put it on, and it's just a cute little movie. Um, from when oh, I, I was a child, one. though, uh, Fantasia. I was that kid that would sit and watch Fantasia three times in a row. It yeah, is. That's impressive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My mom loved it because it wasn't a super annoying movie because there's was, no talking. I know. It's super <laughs> Other calming. than them like, presenting, here's this piece from like whatever. But it's, just, but yeah. it's uh, very stimulating. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You, like, it's very engaging. You don't get bored. What yep. are Not those at all. brooms doing? Yeah. Just, <laughs> exactly. Oh that's a God. great one. That's a good one. I always forget about it. I don't know if Wes ever really answered that question when we were discussing these questions. What? My Dare favorite you. animated? Mm-hmm. Robin Hood. Oh, that's fair. Oh. Yeah, that's Robin a good Hood, one. Robin Hood, 100%. Really? Robin Hood, Udalele Day, yes. I, I do love the intro, the music. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The guy, you can't... was he playing a lute? What, what? Yeah. I, I think a lute yeah, or a, a lute. lyre. Maybe, maybe a lyre. I, think, I, I don't know. think he has a lute. But, I don't yeah. know Renaissance era instruments. <laughs> I don't know. I, s- I should because of d I have the, uh, <laughs> I don't the record of the good. whole movie. That's awesome. On record still. It sounds so good. Wow. That's awesome. Because I, I, I do remember that. Okay, that brings back something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah see, that was great. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Mine's Little Mermaid. Yeah, that's great. That came out the year I was born. Ariel and I are the same age. I am telling you. <laughs> that's how I think of that. My oldest daughter is named Ariel. Oh, I didn't know that. Because of the movie. That's great. Because of just um, the movie, not the book. When I had movie. my 16th birthday party, it was Little Mermaid themed yeah. because I was the same age as Ariel. Okay, well, <laughs> see, okay, here's, here's funny. We can relate a little bit. I'm just older. Sure. Um, when I married uh, my oldest daughter's mother uh ariel and eric were on the cake the barbie doll uh, versions yeah that's cute so it was that's, it that's was, adorable. the wedding was very themed i couldn't so. believe how fast he did answer that question though because we were like oh this one he's like little mermaid and i was like oh my <laughs> no, gosh it's just it's fact i mean yeah. some stuff like just, i could probably give you like a list of movies that i love right but fantasia is probably the ultimate answer that's awesome <laughs> ultimate 
I never, I, that didn't even come up, and I was like, now I need to revisit that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And although a lot of people ripped on Fantasia 2000 for not being as good as original Fantasia, I loved 2000. It was, I, it I was just a different feel. Comparing good, things to themselves so is, right. is the hardest. Right. I mean, that's yeah. in any any genre, any art form. Right. Right. You know, you redo something, and those hardcore original right. fanatics say that's crap. Yeah. But it but like really it's, it's not. isn't. <laughs> like <laughs> somebody let, put, let people like things. Yeah. Yeah. And people, somebody put blood, sweat, and tears into that uh-huh. literally uh-huh. for many years. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Favorite uh-huh. Disney princess. Uh, she's not officially part of the Disney princess lineup, oh, no. but is it is Kira Kakash Ooh. from yeah. Atlantis? Yeah. Yeah. She's great. She is and fantastic. The only yeah. reason she's not in the official lineup is the dumbest reason. Why? So there's official requirements that you need. There's official oh, yeah. requirements? Oh, okay, yeah. I do not um, know this. And w- the last one is that your movie has to make over a certain amount of money on its what? first weekend or something like that. No. And Atlantis didn't. So Kita is not an official part. She's one of the few, like, only princesses. That is bullshit. <laughs> like, legitimately born a princess. Um, she meets every requirement except that one. Except for the box office weekend. Yes. And I don't know if it's weekend. I think it's over a certain yeah, amount of period but... of time. But yeah. She is. I because her movie was not successful. Yeah. That Atlantis... Atlantis State is another big is child still, movie for me. It is like, still such a good film. Yeah. Like the art and everything. Like yep. you'll go back and you'll watch some shit and you'll be like, Ooh, Yeah, this is not hold up. Not at all. But, but Atlantis still looks good. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. I did not know that. Yep. That's really I cool. had no clue that no. that was a requirement. Oh yeah, no, there's like the official Disney Princess lineup and they all meet the requirement. Um they had to change it for Elsa and Anna. Uh because by the end of their movie, Anna's not uh, no, there's some other reason they changed it for them. But it's like, if you look at the technicalities of it, Moana isn't in the official lineup. No. Is uh, Moana yep. counted in it? How? Uh, is it because she married her Because in China, at that time, the military was equivalent to nobility. So although... Uh, what was his name? Sham? Her husband. <laughs> although he wasn't yeah, actually him. noble, it was, was the same equivalent. Oh. Yeah. That's hmm. doo-doo. Yeah. Man, okay. Well, yep. that makes me sad. <laughs> Really does the Atlantis thing? That's get that got me. That got me. That got me. <laughs> that got me. But yes. So uh, it really did. Unofficially, Kita. If I have to pick mm. like an official lineup, probably Mulan. Oh yeah, because Mulan's badass. <laughs> right. They're both badass. They're the badass princesses. Exactly. That and uh, Poca- they're the two Pocahontas that like get shit too. done. Like, Pocahontas got shit done. That's too. Fair. That's why the three the three of them for sure. Yeah. It's very true. They're hardcore. Yeah. All right. All right. Last question for level two. Uh oh. Your least favorite of the five senses. I almost said ooh again. (laughs) 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 That's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. (laughs) Well, because if if I say smell, that implies that I want to get rid of it, but that also gets rid of taste because they're so linked. I don't Uh, don't like it. It's also referred to as like umami or something because that's the actual flavor thought. I don't remember. Well, that's one of the but new flavors, I thought. Is that I thought a, that was the that new flavor new profile. Thing? That it's like salty, sweet, there's a bitter, or and umami. umami. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Anymore, <laughs> I thought there was something that was related to that. I I'd probably wrong. say, probably wrong. like, touch, just because that's also, like, pain. <laughs> like, huh? that's probably my least favorite. Hold on. <laughs> what's your, okay, what's your argument? I mean, well, touch? Okay, but thinking about, like, having to give up any of the others as well. I couldn't. It's it? smell. I mean, come on. No, because then you can't taste anything. So what? I love food. <laughs> like, I but, do but eat. Do you all saw how much I ate on screen. <laughs> <laughs> My friends still remind me that I had three cookies over the course of one session. <laughs> I, I, I hear you. I'm and totally like, hearing you. If all food is just tasteless paste, I'm not there for that. But, I mean, yes, you don't have to feel pain but ooh but also there's some textures that like you uh, yeah yeah but the pleasure spectrum is mm, I can probably live without that if I still have the other four does, does your husband watch this he does well he's oh. going to oh no he'll be fine <laughs> he'll probably agree with me he's like I like, know <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yeah he will probably <laughs> oh agree gosh. with me oh I just he might give see, up no yeah he'd probably agree my movie smell I would I just well I have I so many smell, pl- yeah <laughs> like Getting rid of smell would be the least detrimental. Yeah. Because not a whole lot changes for you. But I don't know that I could give up taste, too. And mm-hmm. those are two. If I rough. could somehow keep my sense of taste without my sense of smell, it would be smell. Yeah. But I, I want point. taste so bad. 
<laughs> I need to taste the I food. Need to taste. I do. I that lost, makes sense. I My IPA taste. would be pretty, pretty drab. I lost mm. the taste of spaghetti. Oh, right, we <laughs> we had a discussion about spaghetti before. There's like, I would eat that all the time. Yeah, that's like, what my body rejects it, but my mind is like, yes. Wait, why does your body reject spaghetti? It's, there's so many carbs in spaghetti. Oh, yeah, it. that's okay. the only reason it rejects it. Oh. By reject, I mean I get plump. Got it. <laughs> so you reject I, it. Yeah, I personally reject it. But your body's it, like, it's fine. Bring it on. Yeah, it's like, please, please. It's winter time. Please. Pack on more. Yeah. Bring it. I've been eating. God, wouldn't it be great if humans hibernated? I feel like we could. Just like all of the U.S. shuts down for six months at a time. Oh, man. I think I'd be okay with that. That would actually be easier because then less people would be in the world, like half the population at a time. I'm actually not mad with that. That's a great, great idea. Something to consider, people. (laughs) Let's all start hibernating. (laughs) We're going to start that next week. Uh, okay. hibernation. hibernation for oh class A. Engage the hibernation. Ooh, can I make my hibernation in the summer, though? Because I like the winter yes. a lot. I Agreed. Hate the summer. Agreed. People who are like, I love being warm. I'm like, that's gross. You <laughs> that's like sweating? Really no, I'm melting. Yeah, yeah, I'm already melting. I'm actually a popsicle. Like, like, yeah. I am, like yeah. I can't. I well, have to I change my Sacramento shirt. Sacramento goes from, like, I'm freezing and cold and rainy to I'm sweltering yeah. in a day. Yes. Like, we get no adjustment period. Yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's almost still me already. Yeah. Well, um, looks like, Jeff, you have completed level two. You will be moving now into the boss battle. Boss battle. Uh, Okay. Only at level two? That's horrifying. (laughs) (laughs) Level one, level two? Oh, shit. (laughs) Yes, boss battle. There's a few rules um, that uh, maybe our listeners want to know. With the rules, we will be only asking five questions. But you get three moves as your character, Jeff. So, the you get the ability to do three attacks, which means you have to convince both of us that you've answered that question. Okay. Or you can use a deflection, which means now we have to take that action. Yeah. But you only get to use that once. <laughs> sure. And then there's a block, which is stop the action. Like, you know what? I don't have to do any of that. Nobody's doing that. That's stupid. Let's <laughs> move on. I don't want that, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so rules yeah. clarification, because mm-hmm. that's who I am. Yeah. Um, say that I, I use my three attacks right away. Are those gone? Do I no longer yes, have those? they're gone. So yeah. I have to use all five? Yes. yes. Good to know. Yes. No I repeat actions. Actually. Yes. Okay. Except for the I'm ready. three attacks. Those well, but I mean, like, items. I couldn't just choose to attack five times. <laughs> no. You I mean, could, I guess. Um, that's not nearly as fun. <laughs> it, 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 some people have done it. Okay. Yeah, we like you to use three because All we'll right. see what happens. Sure. Yeah. Sure. See what you choose. You know. Um, Do I get to know the questions ahead of time? No. Oh, we, 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 okay. answer the, we ask yeah. the question, then you take now the there's action. There's a bunch of pressure. We on can me. do that. We can ask one question. Sure. Then you take the action sure. of what you want to do. But you, have, you can't just dwell on like thinking. Well, about but like it. the thing is now, if I use my deflection super early, exactly. something worse could be coming. Exactly. It could. Okay. Yeah. All you right. Let's know. do this. Let's do this thing. All right. Hey. So first challenge, I will go. We'll go back and forth, rather. Yeah. No. Um, first one. How old are you? I'm gonna attack. I'm 28. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Some no, you're not lying. Open. Some people are not um, as open. Yeah. That's fair. That's yeah, true. I don't care. Age right. is just a number. I think that's the truth. All right. Ten seconds to explain your life. Go. <laughs> to explain my life? Yeah, yes, ten attack, seconds. Attack uh, block? Or you can, you can I'm going to block that because okay. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. <laughs> I don't like time limits. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's not another one. <laughs> Block is gone. Block All right. Gone. Then next one is, when was the last time you were blacked out drunk? Okay. I'll attack that. <laughs> blackout drunk? Challenge. I feel like yes. it was recent. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. I wasn't. No, that wasn't blackout drunk. So the last time that that legitimately happened was when I was living in San Diego in 2013. A friend of mine, a coworker of mine, was having a Heroes and Heels party where you dressed up in drag as a superhero. I went as Miss Marvel. Okay. I borrowed his, like, thigh-high black pleather boots that zipped all the way up. What? I drank way too many shots in way too short amount of time, and my body was very constricted. And all at once, I was throwing up everywhere. I don't remember half of the night. <laughs> I know that I threw up. I know that I got home safely. According to my husband and friends at the time, I, as soon as we walked in on my front door, I laid down in the entryway, and I was like, I'm sleeping here. 
done. <laughs> That yeah. is beautiful. I yeah. love that's a great uh, the time. Boots did not make it home with me, but that's okay because they were the friend's boots anyway. And they took the boots? And well, I took them off oh, okay. at the party and just left them somewhere. Okay. That but is yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the most last beautiful picture. I don't usually get blackout drunk. No, I'm a pretty I, solid I, drunk. I'm the same way. I, I'm the same way. I have never gotten blacked out drunk. I always I think only remember. Once. Yeah, I, I, I'm, Let's, and I don't like to remember. Yes. Right. <laughs> but I would wish, I would, many that's, times I wish I had blacked out. Yeah. I'm sure I could think of another time, but I, that's the one that's really clear in my oh, head. But that one's, it's that's not, fantastic. Know, that's a, it's a really good story. beautiful, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could, fantastic. Yeah. that could be easily a very. It's like a sitcom episode. Like, <laughs> just add the. <laughs> like, that we need a little Benny more slap bass here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Benny Hill, black and white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> run around and drag oh my god that would be so great yeah. well it was really great because it was right after carol had first cut her hair carol danvers so i didn't have to have like a wig at all because i hate wigs i have a weird thing with wigs um but yeah. they're hot they're, they're like, yeah. not like <laughs> i was like they're, not smoking uh, hot they're, they're hot, like, like yeah. oh you have <laughs> no they're like they're yeah really they are, they are very warm yeah yeah i'm it's not like, into that okay mm-hmm. um most embarrassing moment of your life <laughs> I'm gonna deflect that one. I want to hear from you guys. Okay. And now I'm really panicking about what question five is. I know. <laughs> so you're deflecting. I am. So we have to answer that. Riza, most embarrassing moment. I think. Because I'm gonna have to think. I have like. 100. I know. I, like, what do I choose? I have. Like, a, I have a bunch, but for me, it'd probably have to be very recently on Cinco de Mayo. Where I drank many shots of tequila very fast, and then another person showed up, and he's a goddamn tank with drinking. And I, in my already drunken state, was, I can match you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, it. You belligerent? What? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna match you. <laughs> uh, no, I profusely was throwing up and I felt terrible because it was at the very beginning of the party and I worked the next day so I'm like I have to get drunk now and I threw up so much and I fell asleep for the rest of the party <laughs> and at then, the party yes at That's the party um, and then I woke up and I'm like oh wow they're really quiet now so I went out there it was 4am <laughs> and I was like oh shit I fucked up and I just felt terrible because so many people came by and they're like where's Riza <laughs> she passed out so like, we put her on display yeah, they like to. in the living room she's I on mean, the coffee table yeah. on display yeah I was, I was very much like that's great unfortunate yeah that's moment. bad yeah. I would be pretty embarrassed too yeah I was like was that Cinco de Mayo this year yep <laughs> wow nice. sure that's very right. recent yeah. and I worked at I think either 7am or 8am the next day so. oh ouch oh, that was good I call out up. Oh no! Come on! Yeah, I've definitely called out for. Oh my numbers. god! No, I go. I chug. I never get hangovers. Oh, I, How old as, you, my uh, life is a hangover. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my life is a hangover. No, it's, I only I get like. hangovers from sugary things. So like, Ooh, oh, that's fair. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I usually go with the solid. Either you know, though it is sugary, I make mine mostly with alcohol, <laughs> and then yeah, just hard bad. alcohol. So. Yeah, but yeah, the sugary things give make me your head ex- feel like it's gonna explode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most embarrassing. I have like a lot, but the one that I don't know why this comes to mind, but gosh, I wasn't, I wasn't much more than 15, 14, 15. This will encompass maybe my past. Yeah, I was out. I snuck out in the middle of the night. It was pretty normal for me to sneak out, go sure. hang out with my um, the Howarth brothers, um, Jason and Jerry Howarth over at their house because their parents were never there. We don't know where they ever were. So we go over there. <laughs> like, there oh, it was it was it was it was an era, I guess. But yeah, I think it was peach schnapps or peach something schnapps. that we found. You know, found just found right. something um and just flat out almost it could almost be a blackout question. Um but I didn't black out. The only part that I don't remember is I do remember going home and I lived with my mom, um, my older sister and my little sister at the time. I uh, went home, and I remember taking off my clothes and getting ready for bed and being buck-ass naked <laughs> and flopping down on my bed. <laughs> I woke up. Uh-huh. Not on my bed. Nope. 
It's uh, those big, I think, I don't know if they were the big, they were called poof pillows. Oh, the big yeah. pillows with the <laughs> yeah, stuffing yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Flat out sprawled on there with a blanket on me. <laughs> My mom never said a word. Oh. I know for a fact mom is the real I did not have there. a yeah, blanket. Your mom is a hero. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know. Yeah, that was, I was like 14, 15. You know, you're like, you don't even understand your right. sexuality at that point. Right. I That's was. great. If you thought I was an introvert before, <laughs> I just kind of just shut down. Yeah. <laughs> for a while. Wow. That's a I'm good not one. Telling That's a really this. good. I but like yeah, that. Just one. I like that a lot. That was awful. But <laughs> no, I, think even, I think I've even told my wife that story too. Because right now I'm like, good God, I'm good. I'll be 45 this year. <laughs> And I still do stupid, embarrassing things like that. Right, right. I mean, stops, yeah, just why not? You just, keep thinking, when I'm grown up, it's going to stop. And then just, no, no I, uh, I am grown up. That's, yeah. And my that's mom, unfortunate that's where part. We're you're like, now. wait, I'm here. Oh, right. shit, wait. My, my mother always said you'll grow out of that, son. And I was like, I'm in my I'll 40s prove you now. wrong. Yeah. I'm in my 40s. Super not happy. I still don't like to get up early. Right. I still like to play video games in the middle of the night. Right. <laughs> it's who I am. Yep. So. Um, we do have a fifth question. And I have to attack you it. This is an attack, attack one. Okay. The fifth question is eat this or eat that. So, Riza has something that you can take a choice to okay. eat. So, but today it's special because yes. it's all in the same. Oh, so. no. We brought Bean oh, Boozled. No. You oh, love gonna be taste bad. so much. Don't yeah. you wish you would have got rid Thanks of the sense of smell? Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, so scared. Tootie uh, Fruity or Stinky Socks? Oh, I'm so scared. Which one is yep, it? Let's see it. Let's see it. It's a Tootie Fruity. Come it's on. Be stinky fruity, Socks. Stinky it? Socks. Stinky <laughs> Socks. It doesn't taste like anything. You did lose your sense of smell. <laughs> no. It doesn't taste like anything. So maybe it was Stinky Socks, but someone actually washed the right. sock. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a maybe blob he just of gelatin in my mouth. <laughs> Stinky socks are his thing. Unfortunate, but you did it. Yeah, no, you did it. Yay. That was easy. You have taken on the boss yes. battle. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, aftertaste. Tutti fruity, huh? No, <laughs> it definitely got the oh, stinky. Geez. Is it bad? It's a bad aftertaste. <laughs> I'm like, I've swallowed it. It's gone. <laughs> it is gone. There it is. It okay. is part of your it is stinky socks. <laughs> it is sir. part of your whole aura now. Yep. I am a stinky sock. <laughs> I'm real mad now. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nothing, whatever, and then out of nowhere. It's like, oh, oh Lord. Stinky yeah, that's sock. a that's a sleeper. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank <laughs> you for the ex experience. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Oh. Thanks for thanks for uh, oh deflecting. God. Early, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that, that early deflection. I mean, no, I deflected. I defended early. I thought. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, I, def you, I deflected you, super late. Well, yeah. Yeah, but well, right before really this. Oh, but you guys could. Ah, this it one. could have been us. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. We were super like. Hmm. We do leave it to the last. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. You have beaten the boss battle. <laughs> you won. Um, thank so you so glad. much for coming over yeah. and hang out in my dining room again. Of course, yeah. you haven't been here for a year. I, I know. Think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's been, been a year. It's been it's almost been like a, year. a year. It's been year? almost a year. Lord. Because our last Dear filming Lord. of New Trippers was in November, <laughs> and you had left the show like a month or two before that. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So yeah, oh it's been gosh. a while over here. Yeah. So um, thank you so much. Thank yeah. You. Thanks for um, having me. Oh, You're of fantastic. course. Super fun. You were fantastic. Oh, this was amazing. <laughs> I had a blast. <laughs> uh, old friends. Now we're new friends again. Uh -huh. This is great. Old friends, new friends. All the same. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Make sure um, and pull up a chair next time and talk off the dice with us. Yeah. Peace yeah. out. Peace out, Girl Scout. Off the Dice is a Time to Tabletop production, building community through the language of gaming. Hey! Hey! hey. My name is Dave. I'm John. And I'm Cody. And we are the hosts of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. Wasting All the Time is an improv comedy podcast in which we play games, we look at uh, weird things we see on Twitter, and do all kinds of other fun improv things. And don't let John's weird, straight-laced demeanor fool you. We are ridiculous. We have a lot of fun. We crack up, and we release the show half Fort Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Cody. Dave. It's every week. Is it every week? On Thursdays. Half by fortnightly, because a fortnight is two weeks. Guys, oh. look, you can go to WastingAllTheTime.com and you can find our episodes there and a whole bunch of other information. We have guests on the show, other improv artists, our friends, sometimes mystery celebrities like Robert Downey Jr. 
No. 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 no he canceled. So you can check it out by going to drowningmanpodcasts.com. We have the best SEO. <laughs> <laughs>